You know, I think I've kind of realized something about this game. Not just this game, but me with this game. Um... I don't think I'm that huge of a fan of this. Although we can get into that later in the video. You know, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I guess specifically Scarlet. And, uh, today... It's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while. Over a month. Hey, remember when I was like, yeah, I won't stream just to stream before Splatfest. And, that, and then, uh, the next Splatfest is this weekend. God damn it. Well, uh... <laughs> I didn't mean it, but look, look, I've been busy. I've been busy, okay? I've been working, I've been making videos. It is good to see the team, though. I, I do love, I do, I do love seeing my team. Uh, okay. So, today we'll be going against some more gym leaders. I believe next is Psychic. I'm still not hitting the right button for him now. <laughs> this game's been out for how long? How long have I been playing it? I'm still not hitting the right buttons. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Psychic Gym. Oh, yeah! Right over there. Okay. And then I flew to here so we can walk there. Okay, I remember. I remember well enough what we were doing over a month ago. <laughs> anyway, let's go. I think I'm properly dripped out enough. You know, for as much trip as you can have in this game. Um... There's no way to enlarge in the minimap, is there? Still not the map button. Okay, yeah, so just, just go, like, somewhere around there. I've gone this way before. I can do this. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing stuff. I think last time I said I probably wouldn't be streaming until my next main channel video is done. And you know what? It's done! It's been done for a few weeks. Um, it's the I made, like, a, a Wii Music sort of review uh, retrospective, I guess. I'm still not quite sure what exactly it is, but it's a, it's a good video. Okay. I think it came out very well. I'm very happy with how it, how it went. Oh, there is a way to... Can I, like, jimmy my way up here? I sure can. Alright. I can glide now, that's right. Neato. But that's done. It's over an hour. It's weird because that video technically took me over a year to make. But like I said in the description of that video, uh... I say it took me a year. It really took me, like, no more than three months, somewhere between two and three. Just because I was so on and off with it, with, like, doing other videos, going to college, uh, working. That it ended up just kind of taking that long. So, a lot... Bi which is weird, because I look back at some of, like, when I recorded and wrote some of the stuff, and, like, most of what I recorded and wrote was in May of last year. So a lot of my writing strengths and, and such uh, aren't exactly my recent writing strengths. But still, I, it came out well enough, and I'm happy with the results. Oh, hello there, little lad. Yeah, I love being able to see these, like, 10 millimeter. Millimeter, right? Centimeter? Mil yeah, these 10 millimeter motherfuckers. I don't know the metric system well enough to roast you for that, okay? Let's just go our separate ways. Let me get, let me get this TM. Spikes, okay. And yeah, I guess I did take a little longer because I wasn't just doing that. I also wanted to set up stuff for my uh, clip channel that I'm doing, which has thankfully been going well, and I've got like the next four or so months already laid out. So I'm not going to have to worry about that for a while, so I'm just free to relax, make uh, the regular videos I want to, and uh, hopefully stream. Although I say this, I don't have much more than a month until my next semester of college. I'm going to be away uh, camping with with the family, as we always do every year, for about a year. I mean, for about a, oh, 10 days or so, week, 10 days. So I'm going to be away and not be able to stream for that. So yeah, maybe about a month's worth to stream. I thought I'd be playing this game a lot more, but unfortunately, that's uh, not what happened. Are you a train? No, I already fought you. I remember fighting you the first time we were here. Wait, can I run? I mean, I know I can run, but like... 
I'm not sure it carries into gliding. No, I don't. I, I don't think it does. Oh well. Oh yo, that's a whole ass dragon there. Huh. Well, he's definitely too powerful for me, so let's just ignore him. Oh, I don't have any love discs yet. Shit. Ooh, uh, Rock, rock Man. Okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. I think I've. A lot of quick balls, I don't want to use them. Uh, surely this won't kill. So yeah, it has been a while since I've streamed this game. Um, and since then, we've had a couple things happen. Specifically, we've had uh, a Nintendo Direct come around, which is related to this game because there was actually DLC, not announced, um, but shown off. Which is always kind of like a weird thing, whether or not Pokemon stuff is shown in a Direct nowadays. Uh, Love Disc, the Rendezvous Pokemon. Its heart-shaped body makes it popular. In some places, you would give a Love Disc to someone you love. I think they had an episode about that. Heart... Heart. I can't. Sp I can't spell heart tackle box. Um. Heart tuna. It's not at all a tuna, but whatever. But it's weird, just because sometimes they have like the Pokemon presents or whatever, and they'll announce stuff there. But then sometimes they'll actually do. Or actually show stuff in a direct. It's weird, but basically they just showed off more of the DLC. And it looks fine. Um, okay, I don't have shelter. Alright. This will probably kill. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have the rock lad in front. Yeah, Brim Blaston. Watch him still die to, like, level 16 Pokemon. I don't know if I have Quilava yet. Not, not Quilava. Um, Quillfish. Whatever, same generations. This phonically kind of sounds the same. I don't have them, okay. Can't imagine. This will do a ton. Like, I really just don't have much to say about the DLC of, of this game from what we saw in the direct but I guess I'll save that discussion for after uh, the direct discussion and I did react to the direct uh, I did record myself but I didn't feel like it was necessarily worth uploading or make, making a reaction video for because outside of um, one or two very surprised reactions it, it was just kind of me being I don't know not too enthusiastic about the whole thing. Like people were saying, it was one of the, one of the best directs ever, and I'm just like, it was it was solid, I guess. It was it was fine. But I I thought that the direct honestly could have been cut in half, or they could have made it like a mini direct because, yeah, there was some cool stuff in it. But man, for like half of it, I just did not care. Like up until, and this includes the Pokemon DLC. Up until like. They talked about the next Splatfest that's going to happen later this week. I didn't care about anything in the direct. I really didn't. I'm just like, yes, can, can we get to something interesting? And then the Splatfest is announced. I'm like, oh, finally, something for me. <laughs> it's like, I don't need this, like, free-to-play farming whatever that Square is doing. Like, the tenth one they've done. I don't need Pokemon DLC. But Splatfest, that's my shit. Although I think right after that, they also announced uh, Detective Pikachu sequel, which is Pokemon related, and, uh, hang on, Quillfish, the balloon Pokemon. Be cautious if this Pokemon starts sucking in water. It will soon attack by scattering the toxic spikes that grow all over its body. Spuck. 
spikes suck. But yeah, detect the Detective Pikachu sequel looks good. I did not. It's a lot of people looking at me. Uh, I did not actually play the original Detective Pikachu, and I always thought about it, but I'm like, eh. But the sequel, I don't know. Something about that game looks good. And I was legitimately more into it than like the DLC for this game, so I'm like, maybe I will pick it up. We'll see. That's death. No, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Philip is about to level up. Please stop following me. I don't want to run into you, Love Disc. No! Let's see other things that happen. Oh yeah, the big one, uh, of course, was the Mario RPG remake, which yes, I definitely re had a violent reaction to that in a good way when it was announced. Because it's just like, I, I, I didn't expect it to happen. I was honestly more expecting another Paper Mario game just because if you actually look at the release of Paper Mario games, they regularly release like almost like every four years or so. And it's like, it's been three years since Origami King. Wouldn't surprise me if we saw one. But no, uh, Mario RPG remake, and it's like, it looks really good. I'm never gonna catch a shelter. I should just throw balls at it, whatever. Love disc. It's, it's not even like a violent pool. It's just a pool of friendly little, friendly Pokemon. This is a nice spot. And I'm ruining it by trying to catch these guys in balls. Phantom Force. Oh, Fan right. Phantom Force is good. Right, I forgot. You have a good move now. Come on. Okay, that was way easier than just trying to whittle it down. Did I not hear the catch music? Did, it, did that not happen? Wait a minute. I need to check this out. Oh, wait, hang on. Also, yes, that Rain Code game actually came out. I'll talk about that as well. No, it did happen. I'm just deaf. Okay, cool. I just need to not talk over myself. Streamer not talk over themselves challenge. Impossible. Shelter. The Bivalve Pokemon. I don't know what that is. Has it always been that? That's interesting. It is encased in a shell that is harder than diamond. Inside, however, it is surprisingly tender. Shell did. I mean, the, the Mario RPG unique is very good for me, just because I have actually not beaten the original. I think I got to, like, the pirate town with the guy, with the knight guy who duplicates itself, who's actually in the uh, trailer. I think I always got stuck on that, and I just never felt like grinding. But it is a great game, and this is a perfect excuse for me to actually play it. The oh, fuck? That is a very tiny... Okay. Oh, you. And I don't have... Oh, okay. There's the regular... There's what I'm expecting. Alright. Right, they're like water dragon? Water... Yeah, water poison. They are definitely poison types. I'm not even sure they're water types, actually. No, no, they'd have to be. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on! Are you fucking kidding me? Crit in a poison? <laughs> Bram Blanston can't ever catch a fucking break. Alright, Philip. Shit. 
shit. I mean, Psybeam is probably gonna one shot. It sure is. Okay, well, maybe it won't one shot when it's at full health. Definitely got to use the, the remake as an excuse to finally beat that game. I mean, it's not the only R Mario RPG I haven't beaten. I technically haven't beaten uh, Partners in Time, which I think that was just because I got to the final boss and again, I just didn't feel like grinding. I also did not beat Sticker Star because I also got to the final boss and I didn't feel like grinding because that's more of like, a, oh, you just need this specific thing at this point in the battle and it's just like a puzzle thing. And I'm just like, I don't care. I, I do not care. I got to the end of this game, and I really just do not care enough to beat it. Alright. Oh, I have to, like, hold the button to, like... Or not, I don't know. That's not who's supposed to be in front. Whatever, he's not gonna get crit twice. Phantom Force is probably better for him. All right, all right. No. No, this is a good thing, don't worry. Even though he's taking... Oh, so we took exactly 10 damage last time, so we got in exactly the amount of unlucky bullshit to kill him. That's awesome. Uh, let's just see if a Ultra Ball works. I don't want Brain Blast him to die again. I'm gonna try to not have him die as much throughout the rest of the game. Alright. Good job. Maybe if- Because I think he does evolve, so he might just need one extra level. I just feel like maybe, I don't know, all the others, he's just been dying every time he's leveled up. Skrulp, the mock kelp Pokemon. Skrulp evades its enemies by hiding amid drifting seaweed. There's no seaweed at all around here. I don't know where it's getting that idea. It's, it eats rotten seaweed to create its poison. Skrill. Skrillless. You are Skrillis. So I think in reality, well, I guess I actually have not played that much of Superstar Saga. I don't know why. I have Superstar Saga, like the original. I don't know why I haven't played that one as much. Uh, so I think that and Mario RPG, two arguably the best Mario RPGs I have not really played all the way through. Although, Superstar Saga did get a remake, and I, it still didn't get me to play it. So I don't know how well this... But then again, I don't know. I, I'm more into like the classic kind of stuff like this, so... We'll see how things go. There's so much beauty. No. Uh, and the Mario, uh, the Mario announcements did not stop there, because then, I think right after that, they announced a new Peach game, which I think is really cool. Oh, the Halucha Chamber. I think I've got everything else in here. Which, it's nice. I think Peach definitely deserves another game, especially after Super Princess Peach. Which I remember when I saw that in stores as a kid, I always wanted it. Uh, knowing it turned out kind of okay makes me feel a little better about not getting it, but I'm glad they're doing something else. I'm glad they're doing, like, a new thing. And then also they announced uh, Dark Moon is getting ported, which, like, why? It's Dark Moon. No one likes it. I, like, when I, was when I was seeing reactions for people for the direct, a lot of people were excited about it. I'm like, why? I thought people didn't like Dark Moon. I guess it's because I, I think it's more 
people are excited about the prospect of 3DS games getting ported. Which I can understand that. But, I mean, they, they can do so much better than Dark Moon. It's, it's like, come on, Kederico Surprising is right there. We could, we could be porting an amazing, like an amazing goaded game, but no, it's Dark Moon. Whatever, Mario... I would say Mario makes the money, but Luigi... And Luigi actually doesn't. Lest we forget the year of Luigi. I mean, I like the year of Luigi, but I'm just saying it did not make the money. And if you want to count This Is Mario, there was another WarioWare game announced, which actually looks really good. It's like, uh, smooth, it's more like smooth moves than anything, so it's gonna do, like, motion controls, which is, like, WarioWare is one of the only games where it's, like, it's gonna, where, like, it's going to have motion controls is actually a positive thing, just because smooth moves had really good motion controls. I probably should be fighting these guys, if anything, just to get the experience. Like, it's refights, but whatever. And then again, I might have skipped these guys just because I knew they would be overpowered. Oh, no. And they are level... Yeah, I think I skipped these guys. Part of me thinks it's a little weird they're releasing another WarioWare, just because I feel like the last one just came out. And I know it's like a different style, but... Seems a little too soon, but at the same time, I didn't get the last one. I'm probably going to get this one. So, it works out for me, at least. Fast, clean battle. Oh, Giga Drain. Uh, do we want Giga Drain? It might not be too bad for him. Uh, oh, 70. I thought it was 60. Oh, wait. Yeah, special. Yeah, I don't I don't really need that. Mm, it might be better than Grass Knot. Yeah. It'll probably be more overall useful. Bear Tick. Also, sorry if you can hear, like, a fan in the background. It's hot. It's summer. I need a fan on me. Okay, now let's see if I can remember if rocks are good against ice. I'm pretty sure they are. Yes. Okay, good. Alright, Bram Blaston, you gotta... You gotta evolve. It'll be nice. No, okay. We got a ways. And then on the opposite end of uh, Mario stuff, we have Sonic Superstars, which looks real nice. It wasn't announced at the Direct, but it was shown off a little more. Just some solid 2D Sonic. Apparently it's gonna feel good, and, like the mechanics are good. All, all the previews I've been hearing about that game have been positive. Or at the very least, if not positive, then not negative. Or people are like, yeah, it's more Sonic. If you don't like Sonic, you're not gonna like it, but... Otherwise, it's solid. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be good. It'll be a good time. Always like me some Sonic. Okay, you're gonna fighting stuff. I wonder why you would lose at the Psychic Gym, Mr. Jacobo the Black Belt. Oh. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how you lost. Wait, what are Philip's stats? High special or high physical?
There it is. Okay. H yeah, high special. So, probably want side beam for this. What else was shown off at the direct? Uh, oh yeah, I guess to go in line with Sonic, there was that uh, Penny's Big Breakaway game, the new 3D platformer by, I guess, the people who made Sonic Mania or something? I don't know, but it looks good. I'm not floored by it. There's something about the game that uh, like doesn't, that I look at and I'm like, that looks fun to play, but not like, you know, not like it fills me with adrenaline, but it looks solid. I want to see how that game comes out because if it come, it, it, it looks like it'll be really good. I, I love the style that the game's going for. I'm just not totally sure about the gameplay style where it kind of reminds me of like Kirby and the Forgotten Land where I'm like, this is good, but it could be better. And then another not announcement at that, but still, or I guess kind of an announcement, uh, Metal Gear Solid Collection coming to Switch. We know, we know about the MGS Collection, just it's nice to know it's kind of come to Switch too, which I probably won't be getting because I've already played Metal Gear games. Wow, that Meta Titan model did not look good for a second. But hey, more people get to play MGS, the better. So long as they're good ports for people, I'm happy. There's no way they're going to be the best ports just because it's not going to have some of the subsistence content, but that's fine. I kind of expected it. Like, obviously, it's not going to have, like, the Ape Escape stuff in MGS 3. It's not going to have the Metal Gear uh, mini mode from Ape Escape 3. So it's not going to be a perfect collection. I still have yet to play that. I, I remember because I, like, tried playing that and I was awful at it because I would never played a Metal Gear game. But now that I've actually played the games, I should go back to that. I should also just replay Ape Escape 3. It's really good. Too many games I gotta replay. We got Meditate. The Meditate Pokemon. It never skips a daily yoga training. It heightens its inner strength through meditation. Mediatite. I probably could have thought of something smarter, but I also could have thought of something dumber. Uh, oh, look at that, Pupitar. But I've already got a Larvitar. I like how they see me with this big old legendary Pokemon and still try to charge at me. That's Gusto. I'll give him what? I'll give him that. Oh, remember when we walked through this cave before and we couldn't reach any of these areas? I remember that. But yeah, again, more Metal Gear for people is always a good thing. MGS 2 and 3 are some of my favorite games of all time. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's cool as shit. Brent Blaston, on the rock. He is ready for this shit. Although I'm pretty sure it's a bug type. But Phantom Force m looks like it might be good because it might be psychic. Let's find out. Brent Blaston's in too good of a spot to not use this opportunity to look cool. It is indeed a psychic type. Oh good, he gets hit with another crit. Uh, well, well, let's just try to use Phantom Force one more time. Surely this will work. But yeah, Rav skill, that's cool. It almost looks like a piece of plastic though. It looks like a, like a little plastic toy figurine. Finally, Bram Blaston is getting actual use. You'll love to see it. Let's 
let's see, not too much left to talk. Uh, there was that Star Ocean 2 remake. Apparently, Star Ocean 2 is the best one, and I've yet to play any of them, so maybe I'll check it out. HD 2D remakes are always neat. I'm still surprised they haven't done, like, Final Fantasy VI with that, because I feel like that game is perfect for the HD remake style, but that's just me. Focus Blast... Oh, yeah, and then, of course, the uh, the Splatfest. There's the Splatfest coming up this weekend, which, of course, we'll be streaming, as we always do. Uh, which ice cream is the best? Vanilla, strawberry, or mint? Which, I know people were like, where's chocolate? And it's like, chocolate would have won. Also, there's already been enough chocolate in, uh, in, in Splatoon 3 already. If chocolate was there, I would be choosing chocolate, but since it's not... Honestly, it's a bit hard... I'm not going vanilla. I know people are like, oh, vanilla haters are based, are like contrarians or whatever. It's like, when when the only ice cream you have in the fridge is vanilla, it gets boring. I'm sorry, it does. There's good vanilla ice cream. Like, if you get godlike ice cream and it's vanilla, I'm not going to complain because it's godlike ice cream and I love ice cream. But if I have the choice for other flavors, I'm going to go with them, you know? Like, I would much rather just have a, a, or like, even if we're just talking about like standard ice cream, I'd much rather have like a chocolate ice cream than a vanilla. Mint chip depends. Uh, I think for me, it just depends on the chocolate chunks in mint chocolate chip. Because if it's like thicker ones, because that's what I don't like about some ice cream, where it's like they have things in them. I could be talking about this during the Splatfest. I'm, 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 I'll save that discussion for then. If you want to know more, watch watch the Splatoon ice cream Splatfest. Uh, yeah. I think that was... About all that was interesting in the direct. That's all I got listed, at least here. But yeah, like all that stuff was interesting and all all that, but and there were some cool big announcements like Mario RPG remake. But I don't know. Again, there like half the stuff in the direct I just didn't care about, or could have been cut. And it's like I I wish it was like a more focused direct, just because. When it was a sleeper, it really, it really did not hit for me. And maybe I'm just thinking that because it took like eight minutes for something interesting to pop up. And unfortunately, <laughs> this is where I'm going to lead into this. Within the f son of a bitch. Wait, I'm fighting a dark type. Why am I? Okay. I admittedly was kind of thinking about catching them for some reason. Oh, well. Um, do you think I'm good against? Shit, I don't think we do. I guess all these poise true just because they have low kick. And they're kind of fast. That's my lad. Again, I never would have went in this game thinking I would like poise as much as I did, but... Or as much as I have, but they're very, they're very good. Lorantis, that's grass type, right? That's the, uh, the Praying Mantis Pokemon from Sun and Moon. And I don't like Praying Mantises. <laughs> they creep me out. I mean, I like Lorantis. It's just Praying Mantises themselves. They freak me the fuck out. So yes, in, in within uh, the first thing I actually talked about in the direct, I was thinking it'd be like, you know, something like Monster Hunter or Fire Emblem, you know, things they like to start with. But they actually did Pokemon, which kind of surprised me. But uh, unfortunately, like a Fire Emblem or Monster Hunter thing, I just did not care. And that's weird because I like Pokemon. I I know I do. I know I like Pokemon. But I just when I was seeing all the DLC stuff for this game, it just sparked nothing within me. And I'm like, is this is this my turning point? Is this where I'm finally not enjoying Pokemon? But it's like, the thing is, I'm still, like, I'm playing some of the older ones, and I'm still enjoying those. I'm still having a great time going back to Sun and Moon. So, what's, what's the deal here? And I think it helped me realize something that I was kind of having suspicions about, and it's that I'm not 
particularly enjoying this one. I mean, I'm having a decent enough time with it. I'm still, I'm still playing it. I'm still, I guess part of that is just so I can actually finish it. But I'm still relatively enjoying this stream of, of playing this game. It's just, I, I don't know. There's something about it that just doesn't hit for me like I want. I think I have gone over some of the things I haven't really cared too much about in this game, where it's like, there's some cool ideas, but they don't delve into them enough. Uh, I don't really care for the open world format, or at least how it does it in this game. I don't really like the non-linearity going on. I don't like the style they've chosen or anything like that. And I think uh, a good chunk of that does lead into why I'm not terribly fond of this game. Or at least why I think I haven't been terribly fond of this game. And I think also part of it is with the open world. Just the world itself feels a little too, a little too open. Like, a too open and big for its own good to the point where it feels hollow. And maybe some of that is just because of, uh, well, let's try to go around. Let's see if I can... Okay, I can't go through the wall. But maybe some of that's just because this game is a little held together through duct tape. That kind of game design. Or not game design. But just it's not the most stable game. I think that definitely doesn't help with things. I need a ground type. I don't have a ground type. Let's just fuck him up. Okay. I'm going to use Phantom Force. He's probably going to use Explosion. This Quick Claw might save my ass. Let's find out. No, Electro Ball. No, he's going to use it next turn when the Quick Claw doesn't activate. Oh, Quick Claw actually is, was really good for this, huh? I have an idea. Magnet Rise. No, I don't want to disable that. Now he has no weaknesses. But it doesn't matter. I don't even have his weakness. This guy uses Electro Ball. Do I even have anything that's... Hmm. Whatever, I just need something I can one-shot him. Um, probably Jimmy. This probably isn't a good idea. But I don't want Brand Blast him to die again. I, lo I love Electrode's mouth. Uh, that's a weird thing to point out, I don't know. It just looks cool. Like when he, when he does the... Yeah, look at that. Death. Forty one. All right, I'm semi lost. I think it also just helped that I don't really like the movement in this game. Like, using Koridon just doesn't feel good to me. Like, just something about the Like, it's certainly larger, and, and there's, like, you can kind of explore, but I don't really find the world very interesting. Like, it's about as interesting as Sword and Shield's world was to me. And that's, like, a lot more contained and small, so I don't really mind it as much. But with here, it's like the open world's a huge part of the game. And trying to go through the world. And when that's just not fun to me. And when a good chunk of the game is going through that open world. It's like. I don't know. I'm just not as into it. And there's still things I like about this game. I think the Pokemon selection has been great. Or the new Pokemon have been great. Didn't I just fight you? Didn't I? Right? No? Alright. Lost a little child, you are going to be destroyed. I'm going to send you back to the Pokemon Center whether you like it or not. It's like I like the new Pokemon enough. Not my favorite set, but it's a good one. 
Oh, this is bug. This is bug poison. Uh, I do not need brain blast in here. I like the writing well enough. It's not my favorite written game. I, I wouldn't say my st the story is exactly my favorite at the moment, but who knows? Maybe that'll change by the end of the game. I'd like to say the soundtrack's good. I gotta listen to it more, honestly. That's but that's that's more of a my problem. I got I gotta listen to it more. But I don't know, just seeing the DLC for this game, it didn't really spark joy in me. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to stream it, just because I think after I'm done with the main game, I'll be good. I may. We'll see, but... Eh. Okay, so Fortresses, Bug Steel, definitely want Croc Rider. Like, I've already taken so long to stream this game, and some of that has just been my stream schedule but some of that but also i haven't been exactly the most encouraged to play this game just personally would i have beaten this game faster if i wasn't streaming it probably but also i don't think that would have necessarily made me enjoy it more what, what is going on with that people tower over there He's doing his own thing. It's all good. And you know what's weird with this game? I probably would... I, I, I feel like I would enjoy it more if Legends Arceus didn't come out. But I feel like after Legends Arceus uh, came out, I played it, and enjoyed what that game did, and then going to this, it kind of feels... It, it, it feels wor Like, the things I don't quite like about this game as much feel worse, because I feel like a good chunk of what I don't like in this game was done better in Legends Arceus. I mean, it was more open zone than open world, but I liked exploring that a lot more. The control felt a lot better, rather than having to ride Koridon places. There's a lot of trainers in this cave. God damn. The story was still great in that game. So it's like, I don't know. I, I just feel like everything that like, this game is doing well. I kind of like more in that game more. I kind of like more in Legends Arceus. And that game had a lot more going for it anyway. So it's just like... And I'm not sure, because if that game hadn't come out and we just went straight from Sword and Shield to this, I probably would enjoy it more. Or I'd probably be like, well, this is like kind of the first time they're doing it, and they it still kind of is because it's more open world than Legends Arceus is more open zone, but still, you get what I mean. Oh, it's time for us. Well, at least they're not dying in one hit, and I can actually have the opportunity to switch them. They're feeling like a regular part of the goddamn team, and that's nice. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being... Maybe it's part of me being a contrarian. But I don't know. I just... I wish I could enjoy this game more. But something about it is preventing me from, like... Really getting into it. Maybe it's the streaming. I don't know. I mean, past the distance Splatoon, I really haven't been streaming anything else. Even though I could be. Although, uh, Pikmin 4 is about- Oh yeah, Pikmin 4! I could- Yeah, that was in the direct as well. Uh, I will say for Pikmin 4, going to that. <sighs> Brand Blast would be really good for for Gardevoir. Croc Rider, sure. Uh, with Pikmin 4 in the direct, the trailer they showed didn't really spark my interest nearly- I kind of wish I didn't see it. I don't know. I feel like they've already sold the game enough to me to the point where that, that last trailer didn't really do much for me other than seeing Olimar the way he is. But it's like, I kind of wish I would have just waited for that in the game. But either way, I will be streaming Pikmin 4. Should be a good time. 
I don't think I'm... I don't think I'll be in town when the game comes out. I know the demo is out, and uh, as you can see, I have downloaded the demo. I was going to stream it, but I figured... I, I think I just didn't have the time for it, because again, I've been working. Like, these past... I, I've been... I haven't worked today and yesterday. These have been my first two days off in, like, almost two weeks, so... I'm just enjoying some time off, doing some things. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do next for our main video, just because... I don't know. After that Wii Music video, I have, I'm, like, rethinking what I want to do for some things. Or I'm like, do I really want to put the time into this? Do I want to do that? Is this project still worth doing? Do I want to rework it? It's been a lot. I guess one last thing I'll say about the direct is... Okay, yeah, you, you wobble out there. You purple lizard lad. Uh, one last thing I'll say about the direct is that I was kind of surprised that... Uh, Master Detective Archive Project Rainco wasn't shown. Just because I feel like with every other direct, we've gotten a trailer for that game. To the point where everyone... I think the last time it showed up, people were like, Wait, this game's still not out? Really? And uh, yeah, I'm surprised because the direct happened like... I think a week before that game actually came out. Because that game is out. It came out, like, June 30th. And I was surprised when it, when the launch trailer, or, like, people were talking about it. And I'm like, wait, this game comes out in, like, two days? What? I feel like I would have known about that. But, uh, yeah, it came out. And I, I got it a couple days ago because Best Buy kind of screwed me over. Or, no, I think it was GameStop. I think it was GameStop. Uh, first off, I ordered it with, like, three other games. Those three other games got, like, shipped immediately. But for whatever reason... Even though it's, like, days after, uh, Rain Code came out. Oh, shit. Uh, Giga Drain, Giga Drain, Giga Drain, Giga Drain. Even though it's, like, days after the game came out and they say they have it in stock, it still took several days for it to actually ship. Or, like, about a week or so. Oh, thank goodness. I'm getting I'm getting a little too lucky with Brim Blasting right here. But we're gonna we're gonna keep it going. Oh, that's a nice quick claw. Aw oh, yeah. And here's the thing, I mean the shipping was fine. But when I got it, the the top of the case was fucking cracked. Which is weird, because the game it was like wrapped in like one of those manila envelopes. Or manila packages or whatever. And like it was wrapped around itself, so it should have been protected. It had like bubble wrap, but no. For some reason, the case is- the top of the case is fucking cracked. It's the only Switch game where I've actually had it damaged. I don't know what's going on there. Thanks, GameStop. Fuck you. The other games came just fine. I don't know what- There's probably more the delivery people than GameStop, but still, I don't know why it was... Bad- bad RNG. Bad delivery RNG with that, I guess. Joe the Courier just couldn't counter my shit. But, yeah, it came, I finally got it, and, um, yep, it's basically just more Danganronpa. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, you kind of expect it to be, because it's like, it's dealing, it's like a detective thing, you're dealing with murder mysteries, same art style, same composer, I believe. Which, uh, from, I, I played it for, I think, less than 10 hours at this point, I think I'm like six or so hours in. So far, the music's fucking dope. It's, 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 it's as good as it as it has been for Danganronpa, so. Uh, Soundtrack-wise, damn good stuff. And the story's been good. I've been... I'm not totally enthralled, but I'm very much enjoying it. Uh, the Danganronpa bra brain rot is back for me. I'm certainly invested, although I will say, it took a while to get to the title screen, because like you have to do like a chapter zero and then a prologue for it. Oh, no, not the Sam Storm! I don't have anything good against this guy. Oh no. Crap. I guess Frillip. I really have nothing good against gr ground types. 
Oh wait, Lumina Crash is a special attack. Why did I not? I guess the crash made me think it was physical earlier. Oops. Please don't one-shot me. No! This is bad. Oh, actually, nah, Poishru's got this. Low kick should one-shot. Hopefully. Okay, good. My little poison rat friend. Oh, Lycanroc. Okay, well, let's just keep him out then. Why not? Fuck him up. You're not supposed to go first. Oh. Hmm. I will also say with Rain Code, I'm, I'm very... Impressed with the box art. It's really good. I mean, it's right here. It's very good. It, it looks really nice. The box art looks really nice, but um Especially after getting to the tail screen. I like what I like what they did. It, it's it's very clever It definitely feels Like a switch game I guess Like part of me feels like it, it would be better on PC just because it could be like Better optimized, because the Switch is not exactly a powerful console. And they're doing some cool stuff. You know, it looks pretty good. It just plays a little choppily. Like, I wish the controls were a little smoother. I mean, it certainly holds together better than this game. I will say that. But, but still. Uh, it's, it's definitely rough around the edges. Some of the audio balancing is very off. Like, it feels like they use a filter just to make make it, like... Just, like, they threw a filter on everything just to kind of keep it at the same level. And it's definitely noticeable when it does or doesn't work. It's hard to explain. But the audio, ba the audio balancing could have used some work, especially mainly with the voices. Uh, the voice acting's been really good, actually. Uh, not so much the lip syncing. Kind of feels like they did... I feel like they didn't... The fuck was... Y'all saw that with the Go-Goats, right? Oh, Klefki. I don't have a Klefki yet. Do I? I just need to... No, okay. It's like there's like... For that game, there's like no lip sync at all. It's it, it's kind of noticeable. Like if it's a little off, fine. But there there's just like they'll, they'll the character models will still be talking for like a full second or two after they've stopped actually talking, and it's just like it's kind of awkward. It's still less awkward than uh you know just doing that and not having any voice acting like uh, some games. But it could have been worked a little better, especially with how good the voice acting in that game is. It could have been worked a, a little better, I wish. Klefki, the Keyring Pokemon. Once it absorbs the key's metal ions, it discards the key without a second thought. However, it will hang on to keys it favors for decades. Even Klefki's know it's about the drip. Dripki. I mean, I know there's the whole, you know, dub and sub thing with games like those, especially more anime-coded games, but I think they're doing a good job with, with the with the dub. It, it sounds pretty good. That's a, that's a, cu that's a cup of coffee. All right. 
It's also uh, fun for me as someone who's played uh, Danganronpa and then going to this game and being like, oh, this character vo this character used to be voiced by this, or um, is being voiced by the guy who did this character, or so and so. It's been a lot of fun doing that. So, I don't know. Game's been good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm probably gonna beat it before I beat Tears of the Kingdom, which I should also mention came out since the last time we streamed this. It's been that long. And that's also been part of the reason why I haven't streaming, because, or why I haven't streamed this, because Tears of the Kingdom came out and Zelda takes priority. But no, I haven't beaten that game. I think I put in about 50, 55 hours into it. And most of that was just within the first uh, 10 days or so. I've been I, I've been loving it. It's it's so good. Oh, I have two fainted poke. Right, yeah. Uh... I guess I don't really know what I can what I can say about Tears of the Kingdom. It's just it's it's Zelda. It's fire. I've been playing it a lot. I haven't been playing as much as I have as much as I should be lately, but I mean I'm sure I'll get around to beating it. I think it's part of me is just, I want to take my time with it. I don't want to like rush through it all and then not have any Zelda for a while. Like I know I still have a lot to do in that game. I'm not. Even, I'm pretty sure I'm not even at the halfway point for my playthrough. So I'm just chilling. All right, and we've made it back to the town. I could have just flied to. But you know what? I wouldn't have gotten the experience like I should have. At the very least, it was more battle-focused than Pokemon-focused. Like, I didn't have to catch as much as I, I, I thought I would. So that kind of helps. And remember, this is the, we're at the Psychic Gym. So Bram Blaston should be useful. They should be useful, and they're not dying anymore. So that gives me all the reason to believe we're actually going to be able to do things at the gym with them. Of course, we also have Croc Ryer as a backup, just in case. We'll have to see. And I get Flare Blitz. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. Let's see if I can use that. Damages the user quite a lot. I mean, yeah, it's physical though. I'm not sure Crocrier use does a lot with physical. Not particularly. Uh, we don't need that for him. For all for nada. This game has been all for nada. <laughs> Oops, sorry, 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 little parrot fellas. See, pottery is. Pottery is born from the kiln. Potters and shaped clay inside. Potters put shaped clay inside and let it fire nice and slow for days. That is very nice. Oh, right, I can't go in houses. Yep, it's just geometry. Like, these towns are already small as shit. They're already not, like, realistic town size. They're just, like, little plots of land in the fucking world. And I still can't go in the houses. Whatever. You see what I mean by this game being hollow? That's what I mean. Or this game's world being hollow. It's like, yeah, there are people around. Do I care about them? No, not at all. How did I miss this the first time I was here? In prison. Doesn't matter. You see the trick to a good glaze? What, what is going on behind this building? Hmm? What do you mean, good glaze? Nah, I'm out here. Yep. I actually came to see the gym leader, Tulip, but these plates are super cute, too. You mean these? I suppose, you know. Pottery is its own thing. I don't think that's part of pot. No, it's part of pottery. I don't know. Oh, I can go in here. It's just, it's not, there's not even an interior. I don't even care. 
Look, I'm just saying, that I feel like this game could have been made in Roblox, and it would feel a goddamn the same. And if you know how I feel about Roblox, which is to say, I don't really care about Roblox, kind of sums up my feelings well about this game. Wasn't it rough coming all the way out to Alfernada? But now that you've been here once, you can use the flying taxi to come back whenever you want. I mean, I was good just walking around. I needed I needed the training. Alfernada is such an inconvenient location. Having this trusty cyclozar is an absolute must here. Yeah, but that's part of the beauty. Being in an inconvenient location can just make it that much more beautiful. It's that much more scenic. So it makes it special. Oh, so okay, now that's a good one. Substitute. I can get some use out of that. So wait, I thought this was the gym. This is not even a gym. Or, no, yeah, I guess it's the battle area. I thought this would be, like, a stadium kind of thing, but no. It's just one of the things where you get to walk up it, and then there's a simple little battle area. There's just a TM right here. It's probably... It's probably good. Listen, elves are fine. It's mainly just the robots you gotta worry about. In chat. Alright, no bots. I don't know how that's gonna change with AI, but... You know, just, just don't be here being like, hey, here's this gambling thing. Alright, well, I've healed, right? Okay, yeah. Hopefully this gym's going to go well. Again, I don't want Brand Blaston to die a lot. They've been doing better this stream. They've been doing pretty good this stream. But still, uh, hopefully they don't get destroyed too much. We can fall We can fall back on the croc -rier, But still. And anyway, here's Nimona. Yep, of you weren't in the last gym. You were going to be here. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even the tenth of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know? But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. I don't know. Well, trust me. I could tell from our very first battle you were going to grow seriously strong. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. <sighs> I will say it was nice going to the cold frigid area and not... I guess it would have been ni and nice to have her to war warm us up a little. You know, as much as I love winter, I don't really like the cold. Here's our battle court for today. How long have I been playing Pokemon? Uh, it depends what you mean. If we're talking about the series as a whole, as long as I can remember. If we're talking this game, since it came out, just very slowly. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling in. The battlefield can have these teeny effects on your Pokemon's bounce and stuff, you know? Anyway, sorry I sort of dragged you here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now, come on, Zeter, let's have us a fruitful battle. In general, yeah, basically as long as I can remember. Mostly mooshing off my, my brother's copies of the games. I didn't get my own until, like, Diamond and Pearl. Which I guess it's weird, because technically that was my first. But I like I know I, I at least beat Crystal before then. Although that was back when I, I really it was back when I didn't really make a team. It's more you raise one Pokemon really strong and have that carry through the game, and there they go. <laughs> well We're hey, we're not in we're not in the ghost gym yet. I mean the psychic gym yet. Let's see, like and rock. Just beat him up. Oh, they're even level 42. They weren't even that tough. I really, I, I just really hope Br uh, Bram Blaston evolves soon. If they do at all, I'm still not confident they do.
Now, Tonkatina. I just need you to hit one attack. Oh, right, I can't use it. It missed. Okay, Metal Claw time. I don't know why I think Metal Claw is going to hit if I'm lowering my accuracy. Oh, of course it does. That's done. But you're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. You already one shot at a Pokemon! Shut up, I know what you can do. Nice, nice. Dog down. Uh, I don't really need Dazzling Gleam, do I? Because they're not fairy type. But 80 power is good. And it's better than Disarming Voice. Palmont. Uh, I should know what that is. Palmont. That sounds electric, so I don't think it's gonna matter. I'll send Jimmy out anyway. How many Pokemon have I caught? I don't know. I've been trying to catch as many as I've seen. Or at the very least, all the Pokemon lines I've seen. Because, like, if I catch a Larvitar and then I see a Pupitar, I'm probably not going to catch the Pupitar because I could just evolve it. But Okay, it's one of these guys. You know what? Let's throw a Stealth Rock out. Why not? Oh, yeah, I have Stealth Rock. Actually, I should probably start the gym with uh, Jimmy then, just so I can leave that out. Wait, no, I have Mud Shot. What am I doing? I do have a crown move. Not very effective. What? Come on, this is the only one I need to actually land. Okay, good. If I get lucky and we land this attack, and it'll lower their speed, maybe I get to go before they do. Probably not, because I'm a giant rock, but... No. Okay. Uh, Philip, you need the experience. So do my two dead Pokémon. But that's beside the point. Sligoo? You have a Sligoo? Alright, Tonkatina, come back. I probably could've just kept Frollo out because I just got Dazzling Gleam, but oh well. Ah, uh, and then play rough. Easy. No way, Amis. And then the cat, which of course I gotta bring Croc Rire out for, which will also be a one shot. Training attacks on the brink of winning or losing gives me chills. Let's see who gets the win. Yeah, you know what gives me chills, Nimona? This. Here comes the fun part. Time to make this Terra Orb shine. About that. I mean, she's she knows she's gonna lose. I think she's just doing this to waste my time. Where to be flashy? This might not even be the last time Crocodile gets terrestrialized in today, just because I'm probably going to use this in the gym. 
Get ready, this move is gonna hit with the force of all my training. Is it the unique move? Yes, it is. 30 damage. 40, okay. And it was a crit! Hey, Nimona, check this out. I really should have... I really should have revived my Pokemon just for more experience. I really just need, like... Well, that, I think I have a couple of rare candies I can use, just to bring them back up. Knock off. I don't really need knock off, right? Because I want to keep... I feel like U-turn's useful, low kick is as well. No way I'm getting rid of Poison Jab and Slash, because they have Stab. Knock off's not bad... Actually, this would be perfect, because this would actually be useful for the next gym, so... Ooh, excuse me. Uh, then again, U-turn would be as well. I think I'm good. <clears throat> I knew I was right to believe in you. Thanks, Goku. That's an L for me. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokémon should be all set now. Here, take these as thanks for the battle. There's just two gyms remaining. Then all that'll be left is to try out to be a champion. Give it all you got. Now, let's get you back to the gym lobby. Well, no, I need to heal now, because we just battled. I need to rustalize. Well, I am healed. I don't know if I have my uh, power, though, so. And then also, let's see if I actually have rare candies. Perfect time to use it, too. They don't have any experience. Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got plenty. Okay. Not even a problem. Yeah, why not? Let's just get everyone to 45. Curse. Does that still work like it used to? Is it like the half thing? Yeah, okay. I don't think I'd need that for Bram Blaston, honestly. They die enough. I appreciate the offer, but I think I'm I think I'm good with Pokemon at the moment. I like my team well enough. I mean I like me a good strong Pokemon now and then, but I I, I cherish I cherish the unity of my team. Heavy slam? Ooh, steel. And then that should be good, because I'm pretty sure Jimmy weighs a lot. But I like my moves. And I... See, I probably would get rid of Stealth Rock, but I kind of want to use it. But Mudshot's been good to us. Uh, shit. No. Because I feel like, steel-wise, we have Tonkatina well enough, so I, I shouldn't need that. Ugh, EXP candies are so good. Yeah, peace. Nice having you for a little bit. Alright, let's make sure we get our terrestrialize and then it is gym time, boys. It's been a while. Or I guess it's been a while for me, if you're just watching, like, the VODs of this. It hasn't been that long. 
Feels weird. It feels like I just did a gym, but I know the uh, like a gym is not the last thing we did. Like we did like uh Arvin and stuff. Which is especially odd too, because the next thing we're gonna be doing is the last gym. That's the next thing in the order I have. Okay. Let's have Jimmy up in the front. We're probably gonna have to do a couple battles. Actually, mm, yeah. Because we're probably gonna have to do a couple battles first. So let's keep Brand Blasting up just so we can maybe get some more experience. I just want one glimpse. Alright, well, at least the Grumpig will talk to me. I've always wanted to use a Grumpig, they seem like neat Pokemon. Maybe, uh, I know I have a lot of, I guess if I ever decide to end up doing, hang on. Now, if it were not a gym is rather tough to beat, you know, you sure you'll be all right? Because I've got a, if, if I end up going back to like Pokemon Green and like trying to play through all the Pokemon games, try to do like a Pokemon retrospective thing, I'm going to be doing a lot of Gen 3 playthroughs, I'm going to tell you now, for reasons. So if I do eventually get to that point, I'm, I will for sure try to use a Grump Pig. Always want to use one. Welcome to the Al Alfernada Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Zeter, yes? Great. Now, in order to face Gym Leader Tulip, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Alfernada Gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. Oh no. They know about my last year's New Year's resolution. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice created by Tulip herself, of course. Practice created by Tulip... Oh. Complete it, and you pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left after leaving the gym, and you'll find the practice area right next door. Now, get out there and have fun. Here I thought... I would be able to beat this game before I go back to college, and yet, I have like a month left. And I don't know, if I, probably, I only have like, I can't imagine I have like more than five streams left of this, so maybe I can, but... I mean, we're on, we're on the seventh gym, it shouldn't take that much longer. Are you the gym leader? You look, I, I like your design. You look cool as fuck. Osu! Welcome, new kid! This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Why is your battle studies teacher here at a Pokemon gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled and, well... Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is a chance to both get a workout in and help my friend when I don't have classes. The emotional, the rules of emotional spectrum practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement, and all you have to do is copy it. Ready to get this gym test started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Great, let's get to exercising. Show me an eruption of emotions. Okay, I. I I thought this would be the gym leader. I've definitely seen this character before. I'm not going to say one of them. Uh, <laughs> so wait, is this just like dance? What's happening? What is this? Is this just... It's just fucking Simon Says. I don't know if I'm supposed to hold the button. I don't know what's happening. I'm just a little bit scared. I 
I don't know. This is... Did I do it? That was awesome! I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression. That's enough of a warm-up. Now, let's really put those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. No. You gotta keep moving. This is no ordinary battle. This is a workout. What is with this game and having me destroy- just, like, absolutely demolish these children in Pokemon battles? I know- I know they say this is a kid's game, but, like, come on. Allow me to show a little bit of mercy. Or at least direct my power to those who, who are more able to cope with failure. Like, look, this girl is probably having a great time. She's got a Curlia. She's got a Gothita. Whatever they're called. Windrider. That's a new one. And yet here I am just using a tumbleweed that's dead a dead tumbleweed and just one-shotting them they don't deserve this i know my goal is to destroy the region and take it over but i can do it in a nicer way look she's crying i'm not trying to do that I'm moved by how well you move. You moved, both you and your Pokemon. <laughs> you see what I mean, psychopathic? Great! I can hear you, your Pokemon, and your muscles screaming with delight. No, I was crying. I see you're getting tired, but you've got to hang in there. Time to start the second half. I'm sorry, I'm seeing this, and I'm like, you have to press the button at the right time, and you got, like, the circle going around the thing, and it's just making me think of, like, the, rebut the, like, the rebuttal rhythm minigame they do at the end of a Danganronpa case. I'm only bringing that up because I'm playing, like, uh, Project Raincode, and just to emphasize how much that game is basically just, uh, Neo Danganronpa, I guess, they still have all the fucking minigames. They kind of have this, although instead you just play as, like, a giant person running through shit. It's, it's wild, but um, it, it's still fun. But unfortunately, they have all of the minigames back, which includes Hangman's Gambit, which I can never run away from. I mean, you know, I guess it's fine because it's like after you do it, you get like, I don't know, like one of the characters, like one of the characters in like a swimsuit or whatever. Like, fine, I guess. And, like, you're throwing knives at a barrel to, like, choose the letters. I don't know. I, I, st I don't need Hankman's Gambit to come back. And this is just reminding me of, like, the the weird Danganronpa minigames you play. Except this is worse, because it's, like, this is all you're just pressing buttons with a very lenient timing. And it's, like, you can't even have fun with the pauses. It's, like, whatever. Again, good ideas. The execution is a lot to be desired. That was perfect! I almost lost track of who was teaching who! Don't give up yet. It's time for another battle. Hold out against all that lactic acid. What are you talking about? Our goal is to grow strong and big muscles. Any tips? Just, just work out, dude. Muscle milk. Lactic acid. Drink the grump pig milk. No. I really should swap Pokemon just so I don't have to wait for the Phantom Force to work all the time. Oh, that helps.
I love Crocrier's Pokemon Cry. Like, it just, it sounds like a steamboat. Oh, perfect. Wait, they probably have like a raw berry or something. Oh, right, special offense. So I'm like, okay, well, they'll, they'll be asleep. I'll have a good chance to revive my Bramblast and nope. Indeedy. Indeedy is a ghost type? Psychic. Psychic type. <laughs> I'm not tired. I had like 10 hours of sleep. I should be fine. Alright. Does Ndidi look... Do they like look did they change their design a little from the last game because i swear they didn't they looked a little different in sword and shield i might be going crazy i don't know i never used an ndd so okay so they're gonna be hitting us with a psychic attack because poison oh wait yeah why would i be using poison shroom? they're poison types i guess i guess u-turn really is a good move for this uh i don't have anything that resists psychic other than like frillip wait a minute That's a good idea. Because then I can just quick attack this and end it. Yeah. Again, probably could have revived my Bramblastin. Metacham. That's a problem. We don't have any flying type attacks. If it is Metacham, it's probably going to be using High Jump Kick. And I don't really have anything that resists fighting except for Brand Blastin. Uh... Okay, I need to experiment with something real quick. I forget if Fairy is good against fighting or not. Let's... I always forget fair Fairy type stuff. It is. Okay, good. Or maybe it's good against Psychic. I don't remember. Either way. There we are. I don't want that Metacham to get powered up or anything before it destroys me, so. I should use a Metacham sometime, too. I've always wanted to. Nothing grows faster than a growing kid like you. Good job! You made it all the way through the ESP exercise. You passed this test, no doubt about it. Congratulations! But you're not done yet. Sprint over to the lobby staffer on the double. You have to report your passing grade to formally finish the gym test. I'm surprised I didn't fight her. I thought there'd be like a like a two-person gym kind of thing. I know we just did double battles last time, but that would have been fun. I mean, they give her like a, a cool, unique design and all that, and... That's all they did with, with her. A, a light little dance minigame. I kind of want to go off on a, a bit of a tangent about music. But I know I'm about to do the gym and get distracted by that, so I kind of want to hold off a bit. Yeah, fuck it, I can, I can start a bit. Basically, a lot of good music's been coming out lately, which is nice, because for a while this year, I'm like, it's kind of dry for a bit. Like, there's been some good stuff, you know, um, I think for a while, I'm not, it might still be my favorite of the year, but uh, for a while, the only thing I could really think of coming out was, like, the new Gorillaz album. Well, that wasn't my favorite, but it was still good. Uh, the new Gorillaz album, and then uh, Scaring the Hose by uh, JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown. 
That's been my favorite of the year. That's been really fucking good. It's like those, you know, I, I've, I've enjoyed both of those albums, but at the same time, it's like not a lot was really coming out for a while. And then suddenly June comes out and there's like five or six different albums by bands I know coming out. And it's like, oh shit, that's a lot. That's a lot of good music coming out. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. You've now, you've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. The bewitching beautician. Uh, I mean, let me say first, just be safe. Although, admittedly, I did get a little confused because I thought there would be a Blur album coming out last month. Yeah, Blur's actually coming out with a new thing. Turns out it was July. I must have misread the release date, which is a shame because I'm. It would have been nice to come out, and the singles have been good, so. Uh, I, I will wait, though. Who is my favorite legendary? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe Giratina? Maybe? Not quite sure. I suppose you're right. Okay, I'll get things moving here on my end. Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. And order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? She has two phones. I got two phones and I don't know who to trust. Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. I love the dress. Like, the, the, the little wings she's got. That's awesome. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra had nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. <laughs> I must say, you are a cute challenger, Zeter. I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? No. I feel the same. Which is to say, as beautiful as I thought I already was, but also still dead inside. You, you keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equally important for both people and Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. Oh man, I forgot to bring out Jimmy. Oh well, okay. So much for Stealth Rock. The Giraffe Ring Evolution. You're quite a good base to test my makeup magic on. What shall I use on you? 44. I think we'll be. What do you mean has no effect? Oh, it's a Psychic Dark type. Okay. That's a big problem. Although. Uh Wait, Ferrig Giraffe. Oh, I still it's still a palindrome. I love that. Uh okay. Well if it's a dark type, I probably I probably want Poishru out. Wait, I've already fought one of these. What? Although I guess yeah, because psychic dark. Okay, so bug would be good. The only other thing would be a dark move? Dang it. Well, I guess... Hmm. If it's a ghost type, it's probably going to be using a dark type move. And in that case... Hmm. Ah, uh, bring in Jimmy. Why not? I can't imagine they're going to be doing too well, just because it's going to be using special attacks. We'll see. If anything, I just want to get a stealth rock out. Yep, there's Crunch. Zen Headbutt, dodging it. Jimmy dodging stuff like a champ. I'm hoping things are a little harder than last time, just because I remember the last gym. It was nice that it was double battles, but it was kind of easy. And especially because they were actually the gyms were actually giving us a bit of trouble lately. Uh, I was looking forward to some tougher battles, but that one was easy. And this one, uh, it's not. 
it's not bad so far. I might be able I might be eating my words soon. Was that two flinches in a row? I hate it here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> two flinches and a miss. Finally. It's like this giraffe is just banging its head against a rock and it's working. Damn it. On the bright side. There's no way they go before Poistro. And then I can use U-turn. And it's gonna be using a psychic. It's probably gonna be using some headbutt again. Who's got good defense? Crocker actually does. I didn't even realize Crocker had that good defense. What the hell? Uh, yeah, just send Crocker out. Why not? There's no way they use Crunch. There's no way. Reflect. That's bad. Though Bite should finish it. Okay. A little bit of a hurdle. Es Espathra. What? Wait a minute. Oh, one of you. In that case, just basic uh, psychic. It's gonna be fast, so it's gonna go pretty quick. Actually, how fast is Philip? Ooh. Actually, it's only about as fast as Tonkatina, but Poisher will be faster. So let's use U-turn again. Little bit of stealth rock, and then we uh, do a little bit of U-turn. And they're probably gonna be using Illumina Crash, so psychic. And that's special attack. Who's got good special defense? Oh, Tonka Tina does. All right. I guess I think of Tonkatina more as an attacker, but I guess their defense is better. Like, they're like a fast defensive Pokemon, which is like really weird, because that's not how I imagine this Pokemon looks. Ooh, special defense fell. Um, it'll be fine. Fuck him up. You know, it would be nice to, I was, about, I was gonna say, it would be nice to move my camera so that Tonkatina's hammer wasn't blocking the other Pokemon. Yeah, like this. Oh my god, I'm on the cover of a magazine! Right, they had Reflect. Those one. Okay. And then Guard of War, which is their second, so it's not going to get terrestrialized. I can probably just use Poishu again. Hmm. But then, then if I do that, I'm going to have to swap out to another, like, Psychic. <sighs> yeah, let's just Brand Blastin. There's no way they get one shot. They're definitely not going to have Aura Sphere or anything. It'll be fine. They're probably gonna go before Bramblastin unless I quick claw. 
Very nice. Yeah, this battle feels- Oh, not quick clo- No, I didn't need the second one. Oh, no. Never mind. Very nice. Skitter smack? There's all these new words and things I don't know. It's bug type. These are skitters behind the target to attack. This also lowers the target's special attack. It's not bad. I do like having the other things. Hmm. Draining Kiss would be nice just to kind of have some healing stuff. But it is a special attack and it's not particularly good with Tinkaton. I know this doesn't get stabbed, but I feel like that'll work better with the attack anyway. It's also stronger. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, why not? I'm also pretty sure I don't have a bug type. And their main Pokemon is... Florgis. Florgis. I should know what that is. Yeah, I don't have a bug type. Okay, actually that works too, because then I have U-turn on that. Uh, I guess I'll just use Poishru, because I can uh, U-turn out of this. I know what Florgis is. Like, that name is familiar to me. What, what are they again? <laughs> You're just as hard to get rid of as Caked on Mascara, I see. I need a good makeup remover. Oh! Duh, oh, the X of my Pokemon. The one that was in the new Pokemon Stamp. Yeah, I, I should know this. So you turn would be good anyway, I think, because they're grass type? They're like grass fairy? Oh, well. Uh, you turn and try to get out of the situation. See what we can do. Come here, my little Florgis. It's time for a makeover. You'll be a new you. I was kind of hoping that would one shot because I think it would I, w I think it would have been funny, but oh well. I don't know what is good against him, but I haven't used Crocker at all. Why not? My bewitching beauty methods will cleanse you right down to the depths of your pores. This won't one shot, right? Ooh, okay, um... Torch Song, why not? That might kill. Ooh! Hype, 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 hype! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Um... Um... I see we have reached an impasse. Okay, well, they're gonna use Psychic. Um, yeah, why not? I should have to. I one did not terrestrialize because I'm like, oh, I don't need. I don't need that cheap gimmick in order to to win this. I should have used it. I should have used it. Oh well, I don't need the cheap gimmick. All I need is my new Skitter Smack ability. And Quick Claw, apparently. Just hit him with a big fucking hammer. Your strength has a magic to it that can't be washed away.
I lost the battle? And your beauty rivals even my own? I can't believe it. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wings before you make your big break elsewhere. But I suppose I need to work on myself a little before... A little... Blah, blah, blah. I need to work on myself a little more first before I run off and do such a thing. You have earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Zeter. Come on, pose. What's the pose? Bruh. That's not one of your best. I do that at work. With seven gym badges, Pokemon of up to level 55 will be easier to catch and will listen to the commands you give them. If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. Oh, just straight up Psychic. Nice. Don't go uploading that selfie, we just took the social media, okay? I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. I need to fix it fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. Farewell then. You did splendidly today. I like her group of Medicham. Well, she was nice, I guess. Oh, it's you. Uh, yeah, Rika. And another child. Hey, hey, Rika here, at your service. These gyms really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? Uh, not anymore, apparently. It did, like, in the middle there, but... Rika, Rika! Huh? Oh, right. You two haven't met, have you? This young lady is Zeter. She's so good with Pokemon, even the Primera's taken an interest with her. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! B but I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong, too. Like, really strong. Which one of you is stronger, do you think? Well, um... I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. <laughs> now aren't you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. I hope I get to show you my Pokémon soon, miss. So hurry up and come to the Pokémon League. It's where the, um, pinnacle. It's where the pinnacle of Pokémon battling happens. See you there. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the kid. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. I'm telling you now, I can do a better kid voice. I just don't want to because I know that can be very annoying. If I'm doing it, I'm, I'm doing a good kid voice. Like, for a recording. So that if it's too loud or pe ear-piercing or whatever, I can fix it in post. Oh, new classes are available to take! Oh, that's awesome, let's do that. Definitely. I want to do that. Alright. So I guess next is the last gym, which is the Ice Gym. Where? I mean, I know where that is. I'm still hitting the minus for mount map map button. Yeah, it's like right over here. Yeah, we really don't. I have a lot. There's... Yeah, there's one Titan left. Uh, two Team Star members. And a gym. We're just about getting there. Yeah, I can't imagine this taking more than five streams. Yeah, it's just somewhere in the ice tundra, so we can basically just go back to, uh... Montanerva. Montan... Montanavera. Montanavada. But, uh, honestly, I know it hasn't been a long time. I mean, it has been a long time, but the stream in particular has not been very long. But I think I'm gonna call it here, actually. It took me a... Like I said, I, I slept for like 10 hours. I slept longer than I wanted to. 
and in, in and because of that, I didn't really get as much time as I wanted to for streaming, but at least we got a gym, we got some progress, you know, solid stuff, talked about shit, all that good stuff. Uh, sorry to cut it a bit short. I say short. This used to be the regular stream time for games. I would usually play for like, play for like an hour and a half per game, but uh, yeah. I think that's where I'm just going to leave things for now. Next time, we'll be heading to the Ice Gym. Uh, probably take on another Team Star method. Or Team Star member. This? Oh. Man, if only I could actually wear that cloak. You know, wear something that looks cool instead of a school uniform. But yeah, I think I'm going to cut things here. Nice to be back to Pokemon, even if Scarlet hasn't exactly been my favorite. We'll be getting there soon. And, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly when the next time I stream Pokemon will be. Hopefully I can do another stream before the Splatfest this weekend, but... I don't know. Worst case, if I don't, we'll be streaming Splatfest next time. And, uh, if you need to know exactly when I stream, you can always follow the channel, turn on notifications... Or follow my Twitter, where I post every time I go live. Wow, I didn't, even, I didn't even think about talking about the Twitter stuff that's been going on. We'll save that for next time. We're during Splatoon. We'll see. I don't like talking about Twitter, though. So, I don't know. Ooh, I am not happy about this cold. Uh, let's think. Let's fix that. I like how the eyes continuously... Look at, look at the eye thing. They continuously change. That's a bit odd. But uh, anyhow, um, if you need to see any previous streams I've done, uh, you can always go to the Twi uh, Zeter Streams 966 mod, the YouTube archive channel where I host every previous stream I've done, uh, with some exceptions. The rest should be on the Twitch channel, saved as VODs, and any other links you may need are also on the channel and the Twitch page. With all that said, uh, which button was it? There we go. Yeah. With all that said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the stream and have a great day.